Hey y'all, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in this house. And uh, Eddie and I was hoping to uh, share with y'all some of the things that we're doing to decorate our home. Uh, this is some beautiful ribbon, but let me tell you something, honey. It ain't cheap. But it sure is pretty and it's got so much body. You know, it'll do anything you want it to do. Uh, so I like cutting this in shorter pieces rather than taking long streamers like at the top. Naturally, you want some long streamers from your top, but then it's so much easier to work shorter pieces in and tuck them in your tree like, uh, like it's all coming from the top. You see what I mean? Something like that. How does that look, Eddie? Looks good. I like I like the uh, the woven. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, let me see. I I might have cut that one a little longer, and I think it does work so much better with the shorter pieces. Uh, you know, but it really depends on how big your tree is. And uh, let me tell you now, Eddie just turned over the ribbon cut to me. He did everything else on this tree everything and i love what he did to the top um these are just things that i've had for years and you see the palm fronds up there well he cut that out of the yard y'all and uh spray painted it silver and i just love the silver in this tree uh, i wish our this ribbon was a little bit more platinum but it's not uh so our theme will be kind of silver and gold and red this year and we are eddie and i are going to keep posting videos as we work along and share with y'all and of course we love to hear and see what y'all are doing too uh that's always a lot of fun to me uh so hope this will give you some ideas i've had these beads for a hundred years and uh you know, that angel up there looks very vintage, but it's not. I bought it. When did, when did we get that, uh, Eddie? Last year you last decided. Year. Yeah, you yeah. said you wanted to do an angel. I wanted to do an angel on top, and I hadn't done an angel in probably 40 or 50 years, maybe. Uh, but I think this particular angel is beautiful. Like I said, I love the fact that she's vintage. So... Here we go. <laughs> Begin to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Y'all, this is uh, one of my least favorite things to do on a tree, especially if you're only five, four and a half. But it's just so important. But you know what? I'm gonna have to ask Eddie to come in here and do the tippy top because I feel so unsteady. But what you wanna do is the best way to do it, if you're tall enough, the best thing to do is take the end of the ribbon and tie it where you want it to be, just like that. And then you weave it in and out, just the way you want it. Now I'm gonna tuck that behind the beads. So, um, you know, a lot of people now buy the artificial trees, it already, pre-lit and that is so much easier so much easier but for the living room i just have to have the real thing i love the smell of that christmas tree so uh if you have an artificial pre-lit tree this goes on first you do your uh ribbon weaving first so uh that's my recommendation. But like I said, I'm going to come in here because I want it like woven in. And always use ribbon with wire. So Eddie to the rescue. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just terrible to, in your mind, you think you can do things. <laughs> And then you find out, <laughs> maybe you can't. <laughs> but, you know, we just have limitations. 
as we get older. But see how pretty that is tucked in the tree. Twisting around and round. And see, I thought I had cut a long piece to make it further down, but I had not. But I am gonna trim. I'm gonna trim this and make it a little bit more. Give it a little bit more of a slant. But y'all get it? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? My first marriage, uh, every Christmas, my children's father and I almost got a divorce. I would get so mad with him because <laughs> he wasn't doing the lights right. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a mess, what a mess. But that's how you do it. You got it? Like I said, always use ribbon with wire because you can squeeze it, make it do what it wants. So I appreciate your help on that, Eddie. I just, so frustrating. I want to do something so bad and realize you can't. <laughs> so after I get all the ribbon on, then I'll start putting on the ornaments. And now what are you doing, Eddie? I am gonna, I'm gonna start with the, uh, the buyers. Start oh, okay. Uh, you know, I've been, C collecting the buyer's uh, Christmas features. Forever. Yeah, for a long time. And I don't know how many I have now, uh, but I just love them. And I wish I had just a wall to do all of the ornaments, I mean, all of the figures on, because they look so, they make such a statement, you know, if they're all, but I ain't got room. I like, though, you do them in the vignettes, and I think the yes. vignettes are cute, too, because they tell a story. That is. All that the is. way around the house. It's kind of a kind of a little treasure hunt. You are yeah, exactly I mean, There's right. some that, you know, just the colonial figures, but, um, yeah. but there's there's some that are... Yeah, like one of my friends, Diane Cook, just sent me three men that Eddie said it was, they were a group of the 12 days of Christmas, right? Right, yeah. yeah. I don't know how he knows that, but he knows it. <laughs> He knows a lot. <laughs> so uh, we'll come back when we get through with everything and y'all can see it, okay? <laughs> I'm here with uh, some special friends from a few years back. And I met these guys, y'all, through Mike Parrish, my friend uh, out of Jacksonville. What's the name of his shop over Design there? Design Elements. Design Elements. Design Elements. Yeah, it slipped my mind for a second. And if you're ever in Jacksonville, you need to go by and see his shop. It is beautiful. So the guys were there the last time I was there doing a book signing. And uh, so I was so happy to be able to reconnect with them. I just want y'all to be aware of their business. And it's called Get Lit Jacks. The Jacks is for Jacksonville, Florida. That's where they live and that's where they're from. Uh, this is Eric, Hello. Matt, and Greg. And uh, they came up to give us some lights here at the house. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to get everything cleaned up. <laughs> Our porch has got every Christmas ornament I've ever had in my life in boxes up there. So guys, tell everybody what you do. Well, um, of course we have a lighting business for Christmas, but we actually also specialize in interior. Um, we've been doing it for, gosh, we got what, 30 years, 35 years experience in interior and outdoor um, decor. So I'll have to jumble up a little bit there. Um, <laughs> so we can take it from lighting up your outside of the house to making custom wreaths, custom garland, teardrops. custom teardrops, setting up your Christmas tree. Um, everything is handmade. A teardrop, a teardrop <laughs> we'll get you one so you can see actually. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it's a longer one instead of a round one. A, like a light or a uh, wreath? Kind of like a wreath, but it's longer. So this uh -huh. would be a teardrop here. And on the stairs, these are all teardrops. Here's your sample. Oh, right oh, there. Oh, like, yes, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. yep. That is gorgeous. Yep, these yeah. are all handmade, custom made. To the liking of the customer, um, 
we chat it with the customer and figure mm -hmm. out what their likings, what their colors, what uh -huh. their style is, uh -huh. and then we make it, you know, to what they like. Um, Michael at Design Elements um, taught us how to do this, and we still <laughs> um, use them quite a bit to make some of these for us, and that's who we learn from. Um, I've been doing it for about 17 years now. So um, this is what they look like. Well, it, it's just beautiful. And, and again, um, and again it's, not, it's not a pre-bought item. It's all handmade right, from scratch. Right, it's, all custom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it is gorgeous. I yeah. could just see that on double doors leading mm -hmm. into this beautiful home. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, awesome. yes. 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 Mm -hmm. So um, we can go from that to lighting up your home. Mm -hmm. We can go pure white. We can go warm white, red, green, any color you want, whimsical. Um, it's all to your liking. Uh -huh. So we can pretty much take it from there and customize it, customize it to how you like it. Mm -hmm. And um, that's wonderful. So you don't do what you want. You do what your we customer do what the wants. customer wants. Yep. Right. And right. we'll just throw, um, make it elegant from there. Uh, Matt was telling me earlier, it's not a bad idea to book them in like in March, early in the year, early, early in the, the year for for the Christmas. So I was just lucky that they had couple hours to spare and was able to come in here but i am y'all's last job for the year right you are you are mm -hmm. you're the last job for the year so we finished it with a band we got to come and eat with you <laughs> <laughs> you know, great chicken oh my <laughs> you know? god wasn't so, it good we loved it so. i asked them i said now guys say because they've been here since what time did y'all get here uh, one or two yeah, yeah i was four. coming back in from the mm -hmm. school and uh i said now but closer to supper time, what do y'all want? Hamburgers or pizza? And Matt looked at me. He said, is your restaurant still open? <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, yes, chicken. it is. So chicken. Eddie went down and picked up fried chicken, cheese biscuits, fresh collard greens, cream corn, and mashed potatoes and gravy and gooey butter cakes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we all sat down and ate together. It's amazing. It's amazing. So if you're if you're thinking about next year and want to really jazz things up at your house, give these guys a call. You say, can check us yeah. out on getlitjacks.com yes. or, or on Facebook, Get Lit Jacks. Yes. Um, I just started Instagram today, so that'll get going. Oh, hopefully. good, uh, good. So hopefully you'll be able to reach us that way. You know, I love I love seeing people successful that are willing to work and work hard. And uh, I congratulate y'all. Thank you so much. We appreciate it very much. <laughs> so I, I couldn't let these guys go uh, without them showing us some tricks with ribbons. <laughs> so here's how we kind of started. We just sort of have put uh -huh. it in here. Uh -huh. But Matt says he can show us how to. Let it flow through the tree. Yes, yes. So Matt, I'm going to dig in here because I can see you've gone all the way into the all middle, the way, right? Correct, all the way to the back. So and now tie, you're... We tied a wire to the end of the ribbon. Yes. Because this is a live tree and it's real soft. So that uh -huh. way we can tie the actual ribbon in the back there. So when you tug on it, it's not going to come out. Oh, so there's this right. trick. And tr mm -hmm. The trick uh -huh. of the trade is uh -huh. you actually have to... Yeah. Okay. Trick number one. Keeps it, hold, holds it in place. And then you just make a big loop and do kind of the same thing in the yeah, back? Yeah, we're just going to kind of flow and then find our way underneath the, uh, the tendrils and the branches here. Try to find a little path to follow. And you use a lot of ribbon. That's a lot of ribbon going down. Oh, yes, man. We yes. usually use about four rolls of tree on a typical tree. It's funny. This year we... Um, I thought I would, you know, I was walking through stores looking at a bunch of greenery, fake greenery, and I thought, you know what, I wonder, when I was, when I was in college, um, I had to do a, a fashion illustration um, course, you know, um, just as an elective. Oh, wow. So I, I, you know, I thought, let's just try spray painting. What oh I what I gosh. saw. I'm so thinking we're just pulling out things uh, that already existed, but this no, is no. I've been I I have been cutting cutting limbs out of the yard and I spray painted them. This is and so and where are you looking at so these? So we're gonna we're gonna incorporate. So we did the Paula Dean green front door color. Hello. Um, we'll use this on you know around some of the garland out by the front door, 
and um, got some. Um, I haven't found some um, ivy, ivy out in the yard, and we'll incorporate that into some of the really cool. garland. Just spray painted gold. <laughs> in that yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's just spray paint. In that awesome. beautiful. And look, the palm leaves. He painted them the color of our front door. Which I was surprised to see that. I, but oh my gosh, look at those. Look at those. These will probably will probably cut and trim up a little bit, make it more fan fan shaped to get into some of the containers. Oh, what's in here? I don't know. What's the Santa Claus hat? Who wants a Santa Claus hat? Yeah. Okay. I want Santa Claus Okay. Oh, Linton, I love it. Look in the mirror. Do you want to put this on? Yeah. Okay, it matches your hat. I'm going to be a witch. You're going to be a witch. Whoa. 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 Look at that scary witch. Whoa. Millie, can I see you in your witch's hat? <gasps> Ooh, you're scary. I'm a witch. I can't find the hook, Teresa. Well, why don't you hold it closed and look up okay, at me? Yeah, just hold it closed, baby. <gasps> Ollie, look at me. And look at Teresa. Ooh, oh, oh. you're beautiful. You're Guinea's little Santa angel. Well, you know, I kind of like over the top things, you know. So I like that one. That one doesn't make a big enough statement, I don't think. But that one's just a scad too tall. What I'm going to go think? in and just. What do you think? Yeah, as I far think as the manner, the, the sizes. Well, the one on the. Yeah, definitely because of the height of the ceiling, the one on the left. Yeah. Is what, I, yeah. I mean, either way, it will add more to it. But the one on the left. I think I would trim a little bit of the gold yeah. off yeah. of the yeah. off of the top. But the silver and the gold is so beautiful. So what you doing, Eddie? <laughs> well, we finally are getting out the buyers, and this. What is... are buyers? Can you like tell people what buyers are? Uh you know what? I, I, I mean, they're kind of like a Christmas it, village, it's, like people well, yeah, that they, do they the do houses. For all seasons, but um, I, I think they're you know known for their you know their their uh, colonial uh, Williamsburg figures. And they're um, figurines. They're not. They aren't actually houses. They're like vignettes. This one is the right. Nutcracker. This is the they're, Nutcracker they're not, suite. They're not ceramic. Well, their their faces are like a clay. Yeah. Um, but the rest kind of their like body. Kind of like Mud Men in the Eddie. Yeah, yeah, and you can it, you can see a video. They um, the original one, like when you look uh -huh. at some vintage ones, like from the from the seventies, uh -huh. th their faces are a little more um, a little larger, and you can see the the detail. Right. Um, but uh, this uh, Paula got last year. What is the oldest one you think we have? Ah, uh, you know, I think we have one from like maybe around 1980. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, but we'll have several vignettes that when we show you our final video of the house completely decorated, this is only part one, you'll get to see all of the different vignettes. What do you think? Look, feel it, we A what? What kind of ranger? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either, baby. Who's this, Linton? Santa Claus. Is yes. that Santa Claus? Is Santa Claus coming to see you? These three. Let me tell you about this. I got a package the other day, and I opened it, and I said, oh, it's from my friend Diane Cook. She is so thoughtful. So she found these 12 days of Christmas that I did not have. And Diane, thank you so much. You're so sweet. You're. I just, I would rather you spend your money on you. <laughs> But you're a wonderful friend, and I I appreciate everything that you've ever gifted me with, especially these. So, uh, 
Y'all, this kind of finishes up our tree, our two trees. And I have gotten so many grandchildren now that these would get lost on the tree. You know, they, they, it would take us forever for all the children to find their picture. So last year, Eddie and I pulled out this little tree. This metal tree was the one I set up in the nursery at River Bend. And I put uh, gumdrops on, on every peg along with some bows. And uh, it turned out so cute. But we decided, well, it'll be so much easier for them to walk up and find their picture on this tree rather than uh, mixed up with all the, all the other ornaments. The only thing is it doesn't have a whole bunch of, doesn't have a whole bunch of limbs, y'all. So I've got to, I've got the bow on the front side, but I've got to make it for the back side too. But then that's all. And look at these precious little things. How precious are those babies? Don't forget, they get to see the full oh, yes. piece in a couple of days. So uh -huh. we're just trying to tease them yeah, right now. Yeah, we just want y'all to stay tuned because we're going to show y'all everything that we have done. Uh, and you know what? I don't think we're doing as much this year. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was a little under the weather for a couple of weeks in November. I don't know. But uh, I can't wait to show y'all everything. Eddie did the mantle, and it is beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.